exit strategy. So first up, before we get into that, uh, check out this book by Jocko Willink. And Jocko, if you don't know him, he's an ex-Navy SEAL, uh, commander, does a lot of different podcasts and uh, uh, books, and has a lot of good information out there in the Twitters and the YouTubes, and uh, just a good guy. And uh, I like to listen to him. I, I, liked, I liked his books. And uh, one of the things that he says that resonates, I think, with a lot of people is discipline equals freedom. Because the things that, that we have, the things right now, FOMO is, it's like a just a, a small gnawing thing that eats away at us slowly but surely. And it, and it causes us to, to, to break down the fundamentals of what we are here for and what we plan to do. So when you have discipline and you say to yourself, no, I'm not going to do this. I had a plan in place. I'm going to do this plan because all the other things are, are noise. It gives you the freedom to feel like you are not controlled by your emotions. And that is one of those things where I uh, am trying to get away from, <laughs> from 2017 when I was in and uh, and I and also in 2018 as well. So these are one of those things that we talk about. Uh, I have a Bitcoin, Ethereum, and XRP exit strategy. I'm going to go through all three because one is pretty ridiculous. <laughs> and uh, I'll just say this, that if you look at any of my um, videos in the descriptions, there's going to be an exit strategy. Just scroll down and there's XRP, Bitcoin, ETH. And you just click on those. That's going to send you to the Google spreadsheets of my personal exit strategy. You don't have to do this. This is just something that I feel I'm going to do. I'm explaining to you why I'm going to do this and why I'm going to hold on to it. So first thing you have to understand is that I will never, ever, ever sell all of my Bitcoin. However, at some point, you have to take profits. And this is one of those hard things that, that people really run into is taking profits because they look at the charts like, wait, Bitcoin was just 12,000 just uh, like a month or so ago. Now it's at 18. It'll keep going up forever. It doesn't go up forever. And there are sometimes there are small corrections, sometimes there are big corrections. So you have to take profits along the way because it's just for the best. Now, I am not saying to pull everything out and sit there in stable coins and go, well, waiting for that dip to go down to uh, 1600 bucks. That's not happening. That's probably not gonna happen. I mean, it could, but it's not gonna happen. So I will just say this, this is my good strategy. Follow it uh, if you want to. This is just what I'm going to do. So first things first, you have to understand First, you have to think to yourself, where do I see Bitcoin going? So to me, I thought a reasonable uh, Bitcoin would be 200,000. I thought it was reasonable. Now I think reasonable could be 250, maybe even 500 is, is reasonable, but I, I think 200 is very conservative. So I'm gonna go with that. So let's say it's at 200,000. So I'm gonna start to sell at 19.9. And this is this is the, the basically the easiest one that I, that I can think of. And I have actually two because one is, uh, you know, all about percentages and not really rounding up or down. And the other one is just more simple, uh, the one down here. So just take it with a grain of salt. So my selling point is 19,900. Why is it 19,900? Well, I learned this from Mr. B XRP. And Mr. B talked about, he goes, don't sell for round numbers, even though it's kind of a round number. Uh, sell at some really crazy numbers like $19,874 and whatever cents. And the reason is because everybody's going to sell at 20,000. Everybody's going to sell at 25, 30, and just, you know, take a step up. So you want your price to be filled. And if you're trying to fill it on Coinbase, you want to do it on Coinbase before it actually crashes. I'm <laughs> just saying, because you know it's going to go down. You can set your watch to it. Uh, Coinbase will go down. That's why I'm always talking about make sure that you actually check out this link here, all exchange fees and wallets recommendations, uh, because you're going to want to sign up for as many different uh, crypto exchanges and wallets as you can get your hands on before things start to crash, because don't rely on Coinbase only. That That is a fool's errand or Kraken or Gemini or anything else. They could all go down, it, you, you never know. So get as many as you possibly can. So just uh, as a disclaimer, there are affiliate links right there. So you don't have to use these links. You can go right to Celsius, right to Kraken, right to Coinbase or Gemini. But if you use my affiliate links uh, for like Gemini, 10 bucks goes to you, 10 bucks goes to me. Kraken, I actually don't think there is one. Celsius is 20 for you and 20 for me and so on and so forth. So again, you don't have to use it, do whatever you want. Say so, okay. So. 19,900, I'm gonna sell before everybody gets in there, right? Maybe 19.7, and I'm gonna put at 10%. So I'm gonna sell 10% of my total Bitcoin. And I just said, I have two Bitcoin, right? So I have two Bitcoin. So if I have two Bitcoin, and maybe, I'm not gonna say exactly how much I have, maybe I have 100 Bitcoin, maybe I have 1,000, I don't. But let's say I just have two, right? And I'm just gonna say, well, 10%, I'm just gonna sell 0 0.2. And the amount remaining is 1.8. So I'm gonna make a profit, hopefully, of $4,000, depending on when I bought, right? 
great. So I have a little bit of money in the bank in case there's a massive dip, right? So then I'm not going to sell until 50,000 because I'm just stubborn. So at 50,000, I'm going to sell another 10%. So 10% of 1.8, I'm going to sell 0 0.18 Bitcoin. I'm going to have 1.62 left. So I'll make a profit of 9,000 and so on and so forth and so on and so forth and down I go. But just know, I will never sell on my Bitcoin. And then if you want to just make it super simple, same type of thing, but instead of, you know, really, uh, I just round up or down. So 1.75. And then if you look at it, uh, I'll make 155,000 if I do it this way, 141,000 if I do it this way. So this is probably the easiest one actually. Um, but there is one of these these caveats. Well, someone could say, well, why don't you just wait till 200,000 and then sell, you know, just one. And then, it, then you get uh, 200,000. You can do that. But the chance that's going to happen, I don't know. And that's why I play it safe. And I'm playing it safe in a market that is pretty volatile. So these are just the things that I think about. You can do any way you want to. All right. So that is my Bitcoin exit strategy. Again, you can find that in the description of all of my videos. Looks just like this. And off we go. So let's take a look at Ethereum. Here's my selling points. I think at $1,000, and let's just say I have 40. All right. I could have a, I could have a thousand Ethereum, but let's just say I have 40, right? It's just numbers. I, in my head, I believe that Ethereum is a 10,000 coin. I've said that uh, last month. I said that eight months ago. I said that a year ago. I think Ethereum is a $10,000 coin. So I'm a little more conservative than that because I think it's going to go up. Everything's built in Ethereum, looking pretty good. The only hiccup I see is Ethereum 2.0 if it actually gets off the ground and how long it's going to take. That's the only problem I see with it. They have the smartest people, not the smartest, but a lot of the smartest people out there. So the selling point for me, $1,000. So how much am I going to sell? Just 5%. So 5% of 40 Ethereum, I'm going to sell two whole Ethereum and I'm going to have 38 left. So I'm going to sell $2,000 or $2,000 worth of Ethereum. That's a profit. Let's say it goes down to 800. Well, great. Now I can buy back in if I want to. Again, let's say it doubles. Let's say it's $2,000 per Ethereum, which is pretty easy, I think, to, to hit. So 10% of the remaining amount, which is which would be 3.8. Let's just round up to four. Uh, I got four. And I'm going to sell four at $2,000. I'm going to make $8,000 profit. And I'm going to still have 34. And then 4,000, 6,000, and I'm going to make around $158,000 out of the 40 Ethereum that I have. But remember, I'm still going to have 12 Ethereum left. And let's just say that it goes to 15,000. Well, great. Maybe I'll sell another one. I don't have a plan in place for that one right now, but I will take it as I see fit because I'll have 158,000 in the bank and I'll be okay with that. I will probably buy land, honestly. I'm just telling you right now. I'll probably buy some more land or uh, more real estate because that's just what I do. So that's it. Now, the other question that people always ask me is like, well, uh, how do you do this? How do you get the whole ball rolling? And I'm just gonna tell you my secret, which is not really a big secret, because uh, I've talked about this in my bull run uh, exit strategy. It's that right now on the exchange on Coinbase Pro, I have a little bit of Ethereum to get the whole ball rolling. I have two Ethereum sitting right there. Also on Coinbase Pro, I think, yeah, it's Coinbase Pro. I have uh, 0.2 of Bitcoin sitting there waiting to be sold with a limit order and also on XRP. And the reason I have just a little bit on the exchanges because people say, well, not your keys, not your crypto. That's true, it's true. But here's the thing, I need to take the emotions out of it. And if I don't have something on there to get the ball rolling, I am afraid then I will look back and go, you know, I think it can go up some more. So I'm taking the emotion out of the equation. I am making sure that I am regimented and that I have a plan in place and I am disciplined because that will equal freedom because I will just say, I've already got it there. The ball is rolling. Everything's in motion. Next one, it's easier to do. Instead of just sitting there going, okay, now I got to transfer everything from Anna Ledger and then sell point two, but ooh, I don't know, it's going to go up to, you know, a million, <laughs> whatever. So I get the ball rolling by having there on the exchanges. And that's my little dirty little secret, which isn't really a secret. So that's Ethereum and Bitcoin. That's pretty reasonable, I think, right? Just looking at it. Let's take a look at my awesome XRP plan. Nothing against XRP. Somebody asked me yesterday, hey man, why are you so bitter? I'm like, well, I'm bitter because I bought it at like $2 and uh, $1.78 or something like that. And then $2.46 or something. So not too happy. It's just an underperformer. That's all it is. It's underperformer. Could it make big gains? Yeah, I think it could. I mean, 
there are is there there are is there is a, a massive opportunity for cross border payments. So is XRP going to be the one? I don't know. Uh, they have to get regulation in place, which is exactly what uh, uh, Brad Garlinghouse talked about. But uh, again, people will say you need to sell XRP and get something else. No, I'm too stubborn. And I'm still sticking with this. So I, you know why? Because I'm super stubborn. And that's just how I am. So my selling point for XRP, laugh if you want to. I don't care. 318. 318 is my selling point for XRP. And I will wait till the cows come home or I'll write it to zero. I do not care. I've already lost a ton, 80% plus, 90% in some situations. So another 10%, <laughs> not going to kill me. So again, 5% of my XRP. Let's say I have 30,000 XRP. I'm going to sell. 5% on my total amount, 1,500. I'm gonna have 28,500 left. I'm gonna make $4,500, great. Next price point, below $10. Remember, everybody's gonna sell at the all-time high for XRP, I think it was like 345, 335, someone fact check me. So at $10, everybody's gonna have their limit orders in. I'm not, mine's at 992. I'm gonna sell 10% of the, of the total amount, 20,500, 2850, and off and off and off we go. So one thing before I go, I'm going to make 904000 if XRP gets $200. Was that going to happen? I don't know. It was pretty unlikely last bull run for uh, XRP to go to next to nothing, to three bucks. So you never know. I have no idea. But uh, this is what I got. Even if I hit here, even if it goes to three bucks, I'll be pretty happy. Honestly, I'll be happy. And that, that's good for me. And then one more thing I will make mention is that some people in the comments have said, hey, bro, your uh, your percentages don't add up because you got 20, 20, 20, that's 60, if my math is correct, plus 25, it's 85%, plus 10 is 95%, plus 10% is 105%. That doesn't add up. Well, it does because remember, this is just the percentage that I'm going to sell of my remaining Bitcoin, not I need to equal up to 100%. So just be aware of that. And that's it. Also, remember, this is two Bitcoin, not one Bitcoin, uh, just the way that I, I put it together. But it's all up to you how you want to do it. But this is my exit strategy. And the question I have been receiving is, hey, Rob, you're still going to take that exit strategy because things are going up so much. Yes, 100 percent. Yes, this is exactly what I'm doing because I have a plan in place. And once I have things in my brain, that's the direction I'm going to go. And that's really how it works out. So. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments section. And uh, that is it for that part. Let's just go over the quick uh, cue of the day, which is a uh, tax question, uh, which is uh, mostly U.S. people. But really it comes down to, hey, can I gift my uh, all my Bitcoin to somebody else and or at least some of it and then not pay taxes? Uh, let's jump right in.